Hey guys, so I'm gonna break down real quick. This is an accompanying video, like a sibling video, right? To my video where I use a two-way ball player. I felt disgusting about it, don't get me wrong. Uh, I used a pitcher and a hitting ball player. I didn't wanna make this video um, weeks ago because I thought this was gonna be patched. I can't believe it hasn't been, honestly, um, but I think it has a lot to do with uh, the two-way mechanic, and I think it's tied, it's ingrained in the coding of two-way mechanic. This is just my thoughts. So if they want to change this or fix this exploit, they'd have to change the way two-way works. And I don't think they want to do that right now. I don't think they, I don't think they want to break the game. So let me go over real quick how to make a ball player in like 10 minutes, even that's crazy out of his mind. I'm not gonna go through all the steps of making the player, but essentially make your player a starting or closing pitcher and a secondary position of whatever. It doesn't matter because they're gonna be in the DH spot. That's basically it. And then at that point, you literally just make them a pitcher and then a whatever other position two way, and then you're good, right? To make a good ball player. Now I'm gonna hop into the game and I'm gonna show you guys what else you have to do after that. So you go to the top left. Here's my player, this is Craw Splay Sucks. Uh, <laughs> my skill set, I'm Filthy Spark Plug. Um, that name sounds like a euphemistic in nature. It's very weird. Perks. The perks I've decided to go with are Velocity 3 and Velocity 1 just to help me with pitching. Uh, and then this is where it gets interesting. The mix. I go Sinker, Cutter, Slur, Vulcan Change, and Screwball. Um, this is what I like personally. I think it's a really good mix. My Vulcan Change is really slow. It's like 70 miles per hour. My Sinker and Cutter are the high 90s. Slur is really fast to like 88 to 90. Screwball is like 84. Pitch mix is gross. Equipment. This is where the most important part of your kit comes from. So uh, I have the captain's bat, guys, because I, I got the um, I got the pre-order. So I got that movie, the show 23 captain bat plus eights on both sides, power and contact. Basically, the premise of why the ball player is so good. You, when you have an, a ball player in your rotation and in the DH spot, for me, I like them in the bullpen, right? So I don't have to use a rotation spot and the bullpen needs help if I were to use it, which I'm not going to. The equipment all doubles because it's something with the game's mechanic with two-way, it counts them as two different players. So essentially, instead of plus eight power contact, I'm getting plus 16 on both sides. That principle applies to every single equipment item that you see. Batting gloves, I have the gold stage, I bought these. Um, Fielding Glove Pro is the one I'm using. It, it, it's just, it, it's. I don't even have to break it all down, guys. You guys can see the numbers on the screen. It just takes what's there and doubles it. Uh, cleats, I have the fours, the zoom, trout, seven elites. Catcher mask, I don't have one, doesn't really help me with boosts at all. Um, I have a, ch a chest protector for plus floor block, plus four block, but they're gonna be DHing anyway, so it doesn't really matter about defense, although his defense is pretty good. So if you wanted him to not DH, you could. Um, that's, that's another thing too. You could, he doesn't have to DH, but you know, if you want him to pitch and hit, that's kind of what you have to do. Um, blocking, yeah, leg guards on doesn't matter. This doesn't matter either. It's only discipline and durability. So I guess discipline, Technically helps you get out of the way of pitches coming at you, so it's fine. Uh, shock Sorb, I have plus four clutch from this. Um, I might want to get a better one, actually. I might want to buy a diamond one. Just get that up. Uh, wrist Guard Pro Series, you guys see that? That doesn't really do much either, just discipline durability. Compression, I have the Tater Compression Sleeve. Bat Grip, I have the uh, Jackie Robinson one from doing the Jackie Robinson. I think I got it from buying the Jackie Robinson pack. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's what i did uh the flak 2.0 xl oakley glasses i could probably buy more expensive ones i don't know why i don't maybe the boosts aren't that much better um i gotta look into it actually ritual well kept secret i have this one on right because this is great this is making a maxed out hitter having a legendary call but this one gets you uh, a lot more hits per nine which i need so i want that one and then jackie robinson day socks i believe from i don't know what i got this from but it's from jackie robinson stuff maybe it was from the conquest map i don't know i don't even remember but yeah that's how you do that and then you just equip it and then guys it's really simple go into the squad right go down to dh filter by ball player series you put them in go to the bullpen you put them in go to single player single player modes i'll just do on veteran whatever gonna be the home team whatever pick your part cross play sucks you guys can see in the wheel right there those are what his pitching attributes look like they're not the best but i haven't grinded any of his stuff he's got no base attributes at all really um and that's what it looks like so like i haven't upgraded my player at all he's still bronze archetype perks double too so if you get to a diamond archetype you're getting double everything from your perks and you get more perk slots this guy will become insane if i got if you got him to silver gold or even diamond right just even getting the silver makes him so much better this is a bronze archetype two perks ball player and those are what his pitching stats look like um 
and uh, we'll bat him. It doesn't really matter because once again, the game will hit play stats, but I'll hit player stats and I'll show you guys what we're talking about here. But like I said, super easy. Um, it's kind of busted. I didn't want to make a video on this, guys, but I made a, I made an actual gameplay video on it. It seems to be hyper relevant the rest of the year. It's going to be something that I don't think is going to get changed. Maybe it will, but it's been weeks at this point and it's a crazy exploit. So for them to take this long, I don't think they know how to fix it. This is what my guy's attributes look like offensively with very minimal base attribute upgrades. He's a gold defender, 99 speed, but 116 contacts, 112 vision, 88, 89 power. The clutch is really low at 68. I'd have to upgrade that via, you know, actually grinding road to the show. But this is the premise, guys. This is what you get. It's super easy. This is bare minimum, just buying equipment and putting it on. This is what your guy looks like. If you want to grind and make him better, do that. If you guys are going to use a two-way ball player, please don't use some cheesy stuff. I did for the video, um, but if I were to actually use him long term, I would make him normal. But I can't tell you all what to do, man. This At the end of the, the, end of the day, it falls on SDS's shoulders. They got to fix this. Um, either way, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope it helps. Catch you guys next time. Peace.